Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Apaca, Florida, with the frauditor known as Liberty Troll, as he attempts to, well, be a nuisance at the local clinic. And, uh, well, he gets trespassed for his trouble because, you know, the guy is a total moron to begin with. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome back, Liberty Trollers. We are at the City of Apopka Water Office, or the City of Apopka Annex. We are going to do what we usually do, take pictures and video in public, making sure that our public servants treat we the people with respect and don't try to trespass the eyes or you know, violate our rights in any way, shape, or form. So let's have a look-see. I already have somebody uh, looking at me through the window over here, or she was. Look out, big scary camera. Actually, before we go in to the Annex, there is a... Uh, Employee Health and Wellness Center. Let's take a look. Yeah, apparently HIPAA means nothing to you or your frauditor kind. So this guy is going to try to walk beyond that door over there and uh, go into areas where he's not supposed to be in. Oh, uh, typical frauditor. Should I? <laughs> no, you shouldn't, but given how you apparently don't care about patients' rights and everything like that, you're going to do it anyway. Yeah, typical frauditor BS. Rights for me, but not for thee. There is no sign. Yeah, hey there. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, you got some restrooms around here, over there? Yep. Hello? Diane? I'm good. How are you? Those are just exam room. Okay, so you got a restroom over here. Can I use this restroom? I am so sorry to bother you, but I have a gentleman here that. Uh, first of all, are you working today? Okay. <laughs> I always have to ask that. So I have a gentleman that I have faxed over um, his information. Okay, so just because a restricted area has bathrooms in it, does it may automatically make that area? Public? Uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, you could say the same thing about chairs in a restricted area, which I just did a video about uh, uh, Vampire Dave making that same stupid comment about, oh, there's chairs in here, so it's public. No, it's the same damn ar flawed argument. A little longer than a few minutes later. Eh, not anymore. I already seen everything. <laughs> I was just looking to see what's in this building. Yeah, I was actually next door and uh, just trying to see what other government services we have here in the area. Oh, they tend to be clumped together, you know. Oh, so. cool. <laughs> Jim, what's your Jim I'm Zach. Nice to Zach. meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. All right, well, I'm on my way out, so uh, nice to meet you. Right. Yeah, Take have care. a good day. It's a tiny building, huh? Yeah, actually, um, actually, you're not supposed to be recording in here. Well, I can, but I'm already on my way out, so. Yeah, Can I ask what, who you're Yeah, with? sure. Sure, I'm with myself. I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for... So I was just at the City Hall doing the same thing. So they know I'm who I am. <laughs> so do you have a card or anything that... Um, if I had a constitution in my pocket, I'd hand you that. That's pretty much all I have. Even if you had it in your pocket, I'm sure it'd be a waste of space and your time to even have it in there because clearly you would have never read it to begin with. And I'll tell you why I know that you've never read it because, well, you seem to have a real lack of reading ability to begin with. And this can easily be demonstrated by the fact that you were on an, a live stream or in the chat of a live, live stream that I was on last night where you presented me with two cases that you claimed backed you up on what you were doing here. And I had mentioned that, uh, yeah, every time I look up any of these cases that you frauditors put out, they never do back up what you're doing. In fact, these two cases right here are nowhere near what you say they are. But we'll save that for a little bit later on. 
I don't have like a like a badge or anything because if you think about it, independent journalists, you can just go to Staples and anyone can get one of those. Doesn't really doesn't really do yeah, anything. But I, don't, you know I, mean? I don't think that you I don't think that you're allowed to do that. You are. Um, I'm not um, going to give you a hard time about it, but in a, in a city building, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's city contracted, but it's also well, doing HIPAA, you're allowed it's, to it's, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're doing you're, you're, you're violating HIPAA. Patients, like yeah, so I, it's about yeah, I know about HIPAA. So HIPAA is like. So basically, it's about pub private information getting out there. So I'm not here to get private information. And um, so when you're recording, there's charts. Yeah, there's and charts names and everything. And like, and I have a patient standing right here in the in the window. So I'm mean, like, and I'm talking on the phone in regards to his medical stuff, and you're recording it. So that's. Yeah. that's hey, can we well, ask you to erase that? Well, HIPAA's for yeah. yeah I'll, I'll get back to that. But yeah, HIPAA is for employees. It's about protect you guys. The onus is on you to protect that information. So I would hope you know you guys don't have anything. Well, same old argument, same rebuttal. Uh, yeah, the uh, onus is on them to protect the information, which is why they got to keep the sorry ass dumbasses like you out of the building who think that, uh, oh, I have a camera. Therefore, I can film all the uh, private information on the walls because you guys are too stupid to cover it up in your own building. <laughs> oh, man. Who needs spies wandering around when we got morons like you who are perfectly willing to put up confidential information on the internet for everybody to see? Out for the public to see from public view. So that's why I'm just making sure you guys don't have anything sitting out that, you know, might get out there. But Yeah, I still, I'm going to have to call the city because I still don't believe, I mean, they should have called and let me know that you were coming over here to be doing something because technically this is owned by the city and technically I don't believe unless they told me you were coming that you can like just roam feel freely. Well, if, if this, well, here's the, if it was a private building, what everything you just said is exactly the way it would work. But when it's a, when it's a government building or AKA public building, it's different because we don't have to get permission per se because it's already a right uh, secured under the First Amendment of the Constitution. It's called freedom of press. And this brings me to the uh, first one that you tried to shove down my throat yesterday. Shit really didn't take too well, considering that, unlike you, I do have the ability to read and do my research. And if this is what you were trying to uh, imply that really supports your argument, uh, Brandsburg versus Hayes, uh, no, uh... It basically states that uh, a, a reporter can be called to testify in front of a grand jury to uh, testify on what they saw. So how does this support your case? Uh, clearly it doesn't. Uh, so could you please try again because your lack of education and ability to read and ability to do research has really shown through right at this point. It's, it's a thing for journalists. Anyone can be journalists. Like, you can be a journalist when you're not working. You know, as long as you're staying in public, whatever the eyes can see, the camera can see. It's just one of those things that, you know, because I can come back here with a notepad and just, you know, I can, whatever I see with my eyes, I can write it down. Or, or if I have a photographic memory, I can just, you know, take shots that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you guys got to put it away, you know, pretty well. So hey, the you can leave. I'm sorry? You can leave. Who are you? Dr. Hames. You can leave. Dr. Hames? I don't Yeah, I was know. about to I leave, but to I'm leaving right now. Who are you? Well, actually, you can leave. I'm going to leave, but I'm not going to leave with you telling me to leave. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're not going to leave because he tells you to leave, even though, even though you were about to leave. Uh, yeah, that's uh, really stupid sounding. So let's just go ahead and skip ahead to when the cops show up because this is a really long video. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Many, many minutes later. So, you guys are the ones who are gonna have to make some changes. You know, so. How you doing, sir? How you doing, boss? I, I was doing fine. I was actually on my way out and this door was wide open as you see here. There's no signs to say I can't come back here. It's a public building. Uh, this gentleman standing inches behind me, he came up to me. I was here first, and he came up to my face, and he's like, you need to leave. And I was explaining to him that this is public. I can take pictures. You can't take pictures back there. It's public, That's though. a HIPAA violation. Well, HIPAA's you for the... You can be in here all you want. No, I know that, but it, HIPAA's for employees, and they have no, they have doors. Everybody has I understand, sir. They, they, have, uh, they have private rooms, though, they can go into. No, in here, they do their testing everywhere in here. If you look in the hallway, there's test charts. If you look in there, that's where they give blood. 
Which yeah, I, I understand so you, that. You can't be past that door. If you understand that, then why the hell are you playing this game to begin with? And speaking of games, I'm just wondering if you were playing a game with me yesterday when you presented me with this other case, or are you really that damn stupid to begin with that, well, I've already shown that you have the inability to read, so that's probably what it is right there, considering this case is not in support of your actions at this point, because the Garland case is about uh, charging fees and everything like that to... Uh, commercial uh, filmmakers within uh, national parks, which was found to be, uh, well, perfectly reasonable. In addition, it was found that uh, filming within national parks is still subject to public forum doctrine. So, which leaves me wondering, uh, how does this support your case in filming inside of a uh, uh, clearly restricted area within a clinic? Oh, wait. They don't. Did you just pull these out of your ass because you thought that I wouldn't be able to look them up or nobody else would be able to look them up? Uh, is this a sign that you think everybody else but you is uh, intelligent and everybody who's against you is a dumbass? Uh, dude, never underestimate your opponents. But then again, I may be reading in too that too much. It may be that you're just a complete dumbass to begin with. Well, this door was, do you see any signs that I, maybe I missed here? There's no signs that say you can't go back here. It has to be well, identified as a restricted area. I'm I only pretty go in, sure you go into a doctor's office. Not all of them are going to have doors saying you can't come back here. Well, they would be locked or there would be a key card access or something. All right, but this you door can understand just, now. So come in here. You can be in here. You cannot be in there. Well, I can, sir. You I, cannot I, be back there. That's a HIPAA violation. Well, HIPAA is for employees, sir. That's no, that's new private information. Come in here. Come on. Well, I'm a member of the public. I'm, I don't work here, just so you know. I'm, I'm trying to tell you right now. You can come in here all you want. Well, you cannot go past that I understand. Door. Respectfully, I'm trying to be respectful. I'm yeah. disagreeing with you, but I'm trying to be respectful to you. All right. Well, and if what's you're your, respecting I'm sorry. me, then come in here well, what, like I told and, you. And one, one more thing. Who are you? What's your name and badge number? What's that? What's your name and badge number, sir? It's right there. Cummings 1677. Cummings 1677? Yes. Okay, my name's Zach. Um, so, yeah, I was just down at the City Hall a little bit ago. Well, who cares if you were at City Hall? I'm sure they would have kicked you out uh, the same way if you were acting like a complete dumbass over there as well. But what matters is the here and now. You are at a place where they're trying to get you out of there because of HIPAA violations, and you are definitely violating HIPAA, and they're trying to be nice about it. But he's going to go around in circles for the next several minutes. And you know how I hate circular reasoning. So let's just go ahead and skip on to the point where he exits the building. Because under threat of arrest is the only way I'll leave. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, set, shall we? I told you, the only way I'm going to leave is under threat of arrest. Or if you guys... Oh, you you said you would leave if I had you can't. You're allowed I did. To be, I told you. I'll tell you what. There. After you guys leave, within five minutes, I'll leave. No, sir. You have to leave that doorway before we leave. You're, you're well, that would defeat the purpose. The that would defeat this the purpose. This lobby is public. And so is this, unless they provide no, sir, information otherwise on the area. door. Marked. That is not public area. They could have just locked this door, sir. Obviously, no, it's not a big deal to them because they kept the door wide open for anybody <laughs> to just waltz right in. Okay. Well, no, that'll be addressed. I appreciate that. But once you're educated in the fact that that is no longer a public area, you have to abide by that. Okay. Well, if you guys just want to cut to the chase, uh, um, we can go those two routes, I said. I mean, I think the second one's reasonable. You guys leave, and then I leave. Otherwise, I'll take a, a threat of arrest, and I will leave under threat of arrest, 100%. You're going to be trespassing no, from that doorway beyond. That's fine. I, I, I'll never be back here again anyway, so. I'm trying to be respectful. I just, you know, I'm just, you know, disagreeing. But You've been explained, though, correct? You explained it to me. I understand perfectly what you're saying. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. All right. Do you guys, am I being trespassed? That point on. Okay. So if I don't leave right now, am I under threat of arrest? Yes. You're going to be arrested if you don't come out of that room. Right now. Okay. Right now. Because right. you're being trespassed from there on. You can stay all you want right here. Okay. The lobby's okay. fine, sir. The lobby's fine. fine. That's you go past fine. that door, you're going to jail. Okay. All right. All right. Understood. All right. I'll come you out here. ID so I can write down the arrest, the, the uh, trespass. Uh, no, I don't have any idea on me. I don't want to give it. I'll give my first name. My name's Zach. Well, I need your full information for the trespass. No, you don't need that. It's, no, it's, it could be anonymous. Condo, we have his yeah. All right. You're on camera. Yeah. And, well, uh, I'm just going to close out the video right here because he didn't learn anything in this encounter. 
Uh, clearly, he's a total brain dead moron because he believes that he educated these uh, people. Well, dude, you were the one who was trespassed out of the building. So I would say that you were the one who was educated right here and you would just refuse to admit it. I mean, a lot of other fraudsters will be proud to admit that they got trespassed and, well, they'll try another place to try to educate somebody. But not you. You are just a narcissistic moron. Not to mention that you and I were talking yesterday and you tried to pass off a couple cases in my general direction saying that they supported your cause. Oh boy, I, in, in this video I have definitely established that, well, no, you didn't do your research properly. They don't support your cause. In fact, it seems to prove that you don't do one bit of research whatsoever. You are perfectly willing to pass off bullshit onto everybody else thinking that they are total morons like yourself. Because if you're a moron, I'm sure you must think everybody else is a total moron or le even more so. Nope, the, that world doesn't work that way, dude. There are a lot smarter than people out there than you are. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?